All right, continuing Copernicus devlog. So in this uh, this little experiment, I wanted to try to um, move uh, move um, texture maps between um, non uh, non. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to use texture. I'm trying to move textures between uh, meshes with different topology and different UVs. So um, this is my let's escape this. This is my low res here. Control W. So that's my low res. It's just a remeshed, uh, remeshed version of my high res. Let's turn this off as well. So I have my just base pig head. I did a sculpt on it. I left the UVs on it, and then I also wanted to uh, to go into how to use this texture mask paint. It's a little weird, <laughs> um, but uh, it, it works. It works. So I'm gonna go into that later. Um, so basically, for my low res, I'm just remeshing, um, cleaning out some attributes, putting some normals, and just doing an auto UV and a UV layout. So basically, just having a rough. Um, rough UV set, so here. And then my high res also has UV. So this one's kind of weird. This one, um, you you don't actually have to be going from high to low. I'm just still using that nomenclature. This can be, you know, you could have a model textured um, and it could, you could have the same model with different UVs and you need to move move those UVs over. That would, that's always a, a really good thing to be able to do to, to transfer your texturing work um, via like world space, even if the model is exactly the same. So this is this is not so much a high res, low res thing. Um, it's more of a moving of information type thing. One other thing that you may want to do is, let's say you get like um, a, he a head scan from the 3D scan store or a head uh, with a bunch of really nice textures on it from like texturing XYZ. Um, you have that head mesh and you have your character's mesh. So let's say for whatever reason that you have to use your character's mesh, uh, but you want all those those textures from you know that external source. So basically, you just fit not just, but you would fit the uh, head from the external source onto your character or onto your target character, and then you would transfer all the UVs over um, using projection and world space and stuff. So I've I've done that a few times um, using like basically you reusing um, like metahuman um, textures for for stuff. Very very good for, to start with a base for for anything, and you can use the topple match in in uh, in Houdini for this. Um, works really well. So anyway, and I used to use the maps ba the maps baker to do that, and so now I'm gonna I think I'm gonna move over to using kind of like the top stuff to do it. Cool. So. Uh, yeah, so there's my out high. And then over here in my my mask, I've I've painted, if I press enter here, I've painted this mask onto onto my high res with this texture mask paint. And then this has two outputs. It has the geometry over here and the volume mask over here. So I'm sending that mask out. So that is actually, you can look at that. That's um that's the actual texture there. Because it's painting, um, just painting black and white um, data into red, green, blue, and alpha. So yeah, that is the texture setup, and then we end up with we end up with this coming out, coming out the other end. Yeah, so we this is our low res, and this is our high res here, and we can see them both side by side. All right, so you can see that mask lines up, even though the um, the uh, mesh is different and the UVs are different, we were able to transfer that stuff over uh, via world space. So these two models have to be sitting directly on top of each other or as close to directly on top of each other as they can for this to work. Um, so this kind of move over here is this transform. So if I turn this off, they're sitting directly on top of each other by default. So that's it for the geometry setup. So in the next lesson, we will jump into that copnet and look at how um, how this works. And it's actually pretty simple. It's a lot of the same projection stuff that we've been doing over and over and over and over again. So um, hope you're getting something out of this. Hope you're enjoying it. See you in the next one.